that you guys have the time as you're walking past to hear a red hot sermon but what you might have time for is to just hear five minutes about what God can do in someone's life when they are as far from truth as you can imagine and how he is able through the love of God through grace and through a mum who prayed for 20 years to see her son set free, delivered from addiction, delivered from violence, delivered from prison. And so I'm just here with my wife and with my children. We've come all the way from Luton because we want to share our story with you. I get to share my story in Africa, in India, in America, across Europe. I love to go wherever they invite me to tell as many people as I can that Jesus Christ is not this religious figure. He is not this icon. He is a real living saviour. He saved me from a 20-year drug addiction. He saved me from prison, five different prisons. I visited around the UK. I spent many years of my life in jail because of violence and gun crime and gang crime. I was completely mentally unstable. I was diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia. I was told that I would never be back in my right mind. But my mum believed the Bible. She believed Jesus. She used to wake me up and preach at me. I used to swear at her. I would swear at her God. I would swear at her pastor. I would swear at the church because my my heart was so hard and so far from God, but I didn't know that with all my anger, God's love was greater still. No matter how far I had fallen, his hand was able to reach me in the deepest and the darkest of pits. I gave my life to Jesus nearly 14 years ago, not in a church, there was no preacher, there was no white collar, there was no songs being sung, there was no angels I could see, but I had a 20 year drug addiction. I had a gun in my hand, a knife in the other hand, drugs all around me, pornographic magazines all around me, everything that represented my life. Violence, hatred, shame, desperation, depression, and then suicidal thoughts. And I was just about to take my own life. I had gone to the bridge in Bulldog that goes between Bulldog and Letchworth on the A1. I had stood there at 3 o'clock in the morning on my own and I was trying to get the courage to throw myself into the front of a moving lorry because my heart was so hard. My life was so broken. I was so desperate. I had tried everything to get off the drugs. I had tried everything to escape from the pain and the shame and the misery of my life. And I found that there was no hope anywhere. But that's because I had refused, because of pride, to turn to the only one 